Hi everyone, we're going to locate the absolute extremum of the function on the closed interval. We're basically looking for your maximum and your minimum. So we're first going to take the derivative using the quotient rule. Write down my denominator times the derivative of your numerator minus your numerator times the derivative of your denominator over your denominator squared. And this is going to equal t minus 2 minus t over t minus 2 squared. And the 2's cancel out, so we're left with t over, um, let's see, sorry about that. It's going to be t minus 2 minus t. So what cancels out are the t's. So you're left with negative t over t minus 2 squared. So we're going to set the, um, to find your critical numbers, set this to 0. You cross multiply, the denominator goes away. We have something like negative 2 equals 0, which doesn't make any sense. Therefore, there's no critical numbers. Now, as far as the left and right endpoints, we're going to plug in 3 and 5. And so our left endpoint is going to be f of 3. And my function, again, was, uh, let me move it down here. My function was um, h of t So you plug in your 3, you're going to get 3 over 3 minus 2, so that equals 3. And we also going to, the right endpoint is 5. So when you plug that in, you're going to get 5 over 5 minus 2, and that's going to give you 5 over 3. So here's your left, this was your left. This was your right. So your left endpoint is 3, comma 3, and your right endpoint is going to be 5, comma 5 thirds. So we merely pick the biggest number. Our bigger number, and that's your y, our bigger number is 3. So that's going to be your maximum, and your smaller number is 5 thirds, therefore that is going to be your minimum. Okay, that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.